Hello, my name is Minakshi Nigam, and today I'm going to tell you how to install CK Bio CV Security from the website. So for that, first we need to go to website www.zktecho.in. Click on support and then software. So whatever softwares are there in the app, in the uh, website that will come in the list. So now since we have to install India ZK Bio CV Security 5.2.0 R, so that we will download. It will take some time. So since I have already downloaded it earlier, so it will be in the downloads. So it will always be in the zip file. So for that we need to extract. So just right click on that and extract all. You will have an option. Extract all. After extracting all, it will be like this. Click on this. And you will get a setup file. Click on setup. And it will ask you, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. So after that, it will ask you to install. And the language by default, it will be English. Click on OK. So it is ready to install now. next so here we have web port and adms port so web port is since uh, zk bio cv security is a web application so it will have a port where it will run so by default the web port is 8098 which we can change by clicking here you can change and adms port is 8088 so adms port is required when we are connecting the device with the application for the communication between the device and the application requires an adms port so in the device in the cloud server setting first we need to add the uh, web ip so web ip is where the application is installed that ip we have to take and along with that this adms port once we enter that and click on ok so the device will be added to the application so it will have both the modes, HTTP mode and HTTPS mode also. So now it will ask you, so where this application will be there. So by default, it will be in the C drive. <coughs> Click on OK. So CP security, we can uh, have three database. The default database is Postgre, PSQL. And then we can have uh, MS SQL and Oracle which can be integrated with the application. So if you are going with the default database, then no need to select anything. Default database, just select and press next. Now if you want to pair up this MS SQL or Oracle database, so that we have to do it from here. So in that case, first the SQL server needs to be installed in the PC. It is not required to be installed in the same PC. It can be in different PC also. So uh, once you have installed that, you will have a username and password for the SQL configuration. The IP address where the SQL has been installed, then the port and the database when you create over there. So once you select this, then you will have that option. So SQL port is 1433, it will come and then uh, we can pair up the database. Same way with Oracle, we can do. So since I am using this poster database here, that's a default one. So I just selected it and next so now whatever uh, data like whatever transactions will be there in the application it will be stored in the database so that backup where it will be so it so it will have the path so that also we can change we can simply browse and we can select the path of the database also so a file a folder will be created in c folder security db back then next so now here the list of the modules that are present in CV security will come. Personal is the default one which will be there where all the persons will be added. Then access module, advanced access, elevator, attendance, visitor, consumption, entrance control, WhatsApp, locker. So these are multiple parking petrol, multiple modules that we have. So whatever modules you want, you can simply select and then click on enter. And now install. So now we click on finish. So the application has been installed. 
Now the application has been installed and we can see the icon over here, ZK Bio CV Security. So once we click on it, then it will give us this window. So username is admin. Now we have to give a password. After giving the password, you have to select this. I have read and agree, then log in. It will have all the modules that you have selected initially. So, personal access, attendance, elevator, visitor, parking, petrol, entrance, temperature, lock and system. These were the modules that were selected by me. And there are some other modules also, whichever you want, you can select. And accordingly, you will have to uh, take the license for those modules also. So now in personal modules, uh, the person data will be added. I'll just show you. So person. So here you can add the person. Personal ID is compulsory. Uh, whatever options are there with a red asterisk, so that are mandatory. And accordingly, you can add the uh, access level from here. Or I'll show you from the access module also. So this is personal module. Then we have uh, access module. So here uh, visible light CDs and the controllers are added. So here uh, we have to just select this part. So here we can add the access level device and the controllers. So we can click on device and then search. So once you click on search, so whatever devices are there after you have added the uh, Web IT along with ADMS port 808. Once you have added that in the device and click on OK, then those devices will be reflected over here and that we can add. So whatever devices we, we add and how many doors it can support. Suppose if it is a four door controller, then four doors will come. If it is a standalone device, then we can see accordingly. And whatever transactions are happening, we can see in real time monitoring. We have this uh, access level. See, uh, if there are multiple floors in a, in a company and uh, suppose uh, for an employee, we have given only two, uh, uh, for two floors only and for uh, different, we have given uh, like suppose 10. So accordingly, we can create access level and we can define uh, those access level to the person. So that we can do from here. Then we have this advanced function, which has global linkage, global anti-pass path, global interlock and who is inside function. So that we have an access device, an access module. Then we have this attendance module. Uh, in attendance module, like uh, there are many, many companies who want to track the attendance of the person in and out report that can be done from this module. So for that, we need to add an attendance device and then we can give a timetable and a schedule and everything can be done. And in the reports, we can see the reports also. Then elevator. Uh, so we have this uh, EC10 and uh, which supports 10 door and EEX16, which, uh, which has, which should be connected with EC10. And then, uh, and three EEX16 can be connected to EC10. And uh, accordingly, we can give the access to the um, floors, multiple floors. So it is same like access only, so readers and floor, it will come and then in real time monitoring, we can see the transactions and in the reports, we can see the reports of all the people who have access to the elevator device. We have this visitor parking when a person is coming to meet a person uh, in the organization. So that, pers that org person's uh, name should be there in the personal module first. So that becomes the host and the person who is coming is a visitor. So accordingly, uh, we can uh, take the details of the visitor and that person can meet uh, the host and his data will be there in the uh, application. And um, so we have this uh, registration and uh, that person can register himself over here. Since the place is not registered now, we can create the registration site where that person is coming and accordingly to whom he is meeting and the time, everything will be given from the application itself. And then if he wants to have a um, this uh, Q, QR code for uh, the uh, entry or exit that we can do. And if he wants to use a card, that also can be done from the application. 
and we can do reservation also when a person is coming but uh, uh, if the person has registered himself but he is coming after two or three days so that reservation can also be done from visitor reservation uh, reservation so for that this ip needs to be in the public ip first and then uh, a url will be sent to the person and then he can do the reservation part so that we can do then we have this parking so there are multiple um, companies who who offer this parking module where they want to give the uh, a lot of parking space to their employees it can be used in the residential apartment also where a fixed parking needs to be given to the person so that we can do from here we can authorize the parking so for that we need to add the lpr camera and then a parking area channel and what kind of a vehicle uh, the person is using everything can be done and in real time monitoring we can see the transactions also in patrolling like uh, uh, for patrolling uh, the the company and all so uh, their details can be entered in the uh, this module and then we can create like uh, from one part to the other part if the person is coming so that route also we can decide and we can see the patrol reports also so we have this patrol module same as for the entrance control and this locker uh, modules also we have so there is a very important thing that we need to do in systems see sometimes the device uh, will show that it has been added but it is not reflecting in the access module or in the attendance module so for that we need to check this part so we need to check on the communication management and then communication monitor so turn on encryption transmission if it is selected as yes then it will not reflect it has to be no always and click on okay so it will be and then we have this uh, email management sometimes uh, the the client wants to have uh, this uh, notification in the email so for that first they have to set this outgoing mail server settings so mail which provider they want to use whether it is gmail or office 365 that can be added accordingly the port then the email uh, account and password test connection and then it is done so whatever transactions are happening if they want to um, like see for the linkage and all that can be set and the email will be sent according to the i to the email id that they have given uh the okay so uh, there is one uh, admin user over here now suppose if the if if uh, the client wants to have uh, multiple admins so for that also there is an option so we can create a role over here so what kind of suppose if it is a different uh, role suppose we have to give a role code and a role name and accordingly what access you want to give to that admin so one will be hold which will have all the access and if you are creating a second admin then you have the, whether you want personal and in access what kind of whether he will be able to select the device or not delete or not so what all whatever you are selecting that that authorization will only be given to that second admin so that first we'll have to create a role and after that we have to create a user so in the user we have you have to select the role also over here what you have created and accordingly uh, a success a different admin will be created also here we need to check the email id sometimes what happens uh, the password the login credential the client forgets the login credentials in that case we can, we need to give this email id over here so if the person forgets then uh, if he selects on that email and if he gives then the uh, password will be sent to the email id registered and then uh, he can retrieve the uh, password from there so these are the options that we have in application also sometimes the application doesn't open so in that case uh, we need to check in the services so these are the services that gets installed with the application and we need to make sure that these are these services are running so buyer platform cache camera code all these services data should be running so that's all for the uh, zk bio cv security installation thank you so much